Good day. Trust you're having a great day. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This is Encouraging Word, and uh, I'm glad that you've joined us for a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. Uh, thanks for hitting the share button so others can see this as well. This week we're talking about the benediction part of the Lord's Prayer. The part that says, For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Uh, in this part of the prayer, we affirm once again that the kingdom and all power and glory belong to Jesus Christ and to the Lord. In Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 and 11, we read, Therefore God exalted him, that's Jesus, to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and in earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. And um, just before ascending back to the Father, Jesus said to his disciples, all authority, and in the King James Version it says power, all authority and power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Uh, everyone acknowledges the fact that Jesus is all-powerful and that all authority in heaven and earth belong to him. At least you should acknowledge that. You know, when facing difficult times, you need to know that uh, Jesus is more than capable of looking after you, caring for you, loving you, and working on your behalf, and that he's on your side. And you need to know that, and we need to face every day knowing that Jesus is all-powerful. But the Bible clearly teaches that Jesus gives us power as well. In Luke chapter 24, verse 49, Jesus said, I'm going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay in the city until you've been clothed with power from on high. Wow, power from on high. In Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, uh, Jesus said, But you will receive power when the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit comes upon you. So whether you're Pentecostal or not, uh, you believe that the Spirit, the Holy Spirit has come on you and that he comes with power. Uh, we like to acknowledge that Jesus has all power, uh, but we struggle to say that we have power too. I wonder why that is. Why do we struggle acknowledging the fact that we have spiritual power in our presence? Um, perhaps it's because when we say Jesus has power, we understand that he's responsible for that power. He's accountable for how he uses that power. When we say we have the power of the Holy Spirit in us or on us, uh, we become accountable for that power in our lives. How do we use the Holy Spirit's power in our everyday living? George Fox was a 17th century Puritan writer, pastor, and uh, he wrote to Christian believers, and he said this, Therefore, walk in the power of the truth, that the name of the Lord God may be glorified among you. His renown may be seen in you and among you, and all the world may be astonished, and the Lord admired in the ordering of his people who are guided by his wisdom. Hey, is that happening in your life? Do people look at you and they're astonished by what they see, by seeing the power of God at work in your life? Are people drawn to God and Christ is glorified among us because of the power of God and the presence of God in our lives? If that's not happening, we have to ask the question, why not? Because we have the power of God in us. In Colossians chapter 1 and verse 29, the Apostle Paul writes, For this purpose also I labor, striving according to his power, which mightily works within me. Paul acknowledged the fact and understood the fact that God's power was working in him, so he had to work accordingly, according to that power. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 4, the Bible says, For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. When you understand that the power of God, divinely powerful, is working in your life and that God gives you spiritual weapons to be used in combating evil and combating Satan, you become responsible for using those weapons. Uh, you become responsible for winning some battles. 
um, you never have the excuse of saying, well, I wasn't strong enough. I wasn't capable enough. Uh, you are strong enough in the power of the Holy Spirit, in the power of God who's working in you. Let, let's be honest. You are more powerful than you can even begin to imagine. Um, Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 uh, is a closing part of a prayer. And some very familiar words there are said. Now to him who is able to do more abundantly beyond all that we can ask or think according to the power that works within us. Can you grasp the fact that almighty power of God is at work in you, in your life? And we can never say we're not strong enough, we're not capable enough, we're not good enough. God makes us all that and more. So I'm not sure what you're facing today. I'm not sure what struggles you're facing. But with God's help, you are more than enough for whatever face, whatever challenges you face today. Whether it's a personal challenge or whether it's something that God has called you to do uh, for others, you have the power to overcome and to be victorious today. We need to walk in that power and walk in that strength. Let's pray together. Father God, thanks so much for the power of the Holy Spirit that's at work in our lives. Lord, it's greater than anything we can even begin to think of or imagine. And it works in our lives, God. You have given us powerful, divinely powerful weapons to bring down fortresses and strongholds of the enemy. And so, Father, I pray that you would help us to understand, A, the power that we have, and B, give us wisdom to know where and how we can use this power of God in our everyday lives. We give you thanks and praise you today. Thank you for each one that's watching, and I pray, God, you would help them to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. In your name we pray. Amen. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Uh, God bless you. Uh, God willing, we will be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock with another encouraging word. Have fun walking in the power of the Spirit today. God bless you.